Hey guys, and welcome back to Armed and Dangerous. When we last left off, we took our band of brothers and we freed our friend Rexus from uh, the King's Guard. Um, a questionable chap, to be sure. Uh, he's just had a rather unfortunate uh, close examination of some stranger's beast's colon. But uh, let's gloss over that as quickly as we can and get on with the mission at hand. Destroy wind, uh, destroy window grunts, Captain and Barracks. Destroy window grunts, Captain and Barracks. Okay, that's kind of worded strangely, but sure. Get ticker bombs from the pub. Tips: Window grunts are the guys sniping you from the houses. The pub won't open until the king's troops are destroyed. Okay, fair enough. We can do that. We now have our band of brothers back. My internal tea resources will keep you warm. Ooh. No me, Jones. Come on in. Hey, I would love a nice refreshing cup of tea right now, but unfortunately there's killing to be done. You know the drill. There we go. Nicely does it. Look at this little bastard up there with his, his bow and arrow. I mean, honestly, what did he expect to accomplish with that thing? Okay. These are oil derricks as well. You can blow those up. I mean, of course, you can blow everything up in this game, pretty much. It's very cool. Although, it did appear that my explosive didn't make contact. I have a strange arc. A very straight. There we go. A very strange throwing arc in this game. There we are. Whoop. I do love these bombs. They're great. Oh, they're so satisfying. They're so satisfying. Right, let's light them up, boys. Oh, I knew you. I see. Sneaky little turd. I think they dropped some more bombs. Yeah, they did. We're going to need lots of these. It is kind of strange that we can only hold five, but they're literally everywhere. Maybe it would have been better if they just let us hold more. You sneaky little sausage. There we go. He's gone. Right, men. This way. It is the Lionhearts, which signals your death. Black letter going home to your mama. Oh, hey, friend. You know what? Why don't we just, like, blow the houses up? It's probably easier than trying to actually kill the individual guys, but I guess not. Now, these bombs actually do kind of home in, which is interesting. I probably should look for some of those tokens, but to be honest, I don't really care. Ah, spawn point. Nuke it! Nuke it! Nuke it, Rome! There we are. Nice, liberal use of bullets here. Hey! Get away from my pub, boy. My house. Ooh. There we are. Liberal use of explosives. That should nuke that place. Nice. Um, brilliant. You've destroyed the king's troops in the area. The pub is open for business. Excellent. All right, let's go. Oh, man. Actually out of explosives, but that's fine. We're about to go to the pub. What's behind here? Ooh. Ha! Huh. Barrels that go boom. Makes you wonder, why are there all these explosive barrels placed everywhere? Almost as if they were expecting a revolution. <laughs> I do like the way they rock it up into the sky. It's really cool. And this game feels great as well, running at a nice buttery smooth 60 FPS. Now, the Steam version of this game... Um, Down with the king. Ooh... Yeah, the Steam version of this game doesn't even run in 1080p. Uh, apparently it does run very well for an old game, but it doesn't run in 1080p. Whereas on the Xbox you get 4K, man. 4K. Yeah, yep, we got the ticker bombs and we got those as well. But we have a new weapon. This weapon is freaking cool. And one of the more unique weapons that I've seen in gaming. Um... Probably apart from maybe the dubstep gun out of Saints Row. Uh, you have achieved your objectives, but the King's men are building a colossi. Giant robots in town. Only the Lionhearts can stop them. Your mission. Blow two gates with ticker bombs. Use the ticker bombs to destroy five colossus scaffolds. Use ticker bombs to open a way out of town. Yeah, well, I'm sure we can do that. Right, let's nuke the gates. Come on, boys. So this is the shark launcher. Yes, the shark launcher. This fires sharks, land sharks, that swim towards their prey. We know you do, Rome. It does lock on. 
So we fire little sharks into the ground. And they will persist for a while. Gobbling up. <laughs> Pretty much any enemy for at least a little while. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's really good in congested areas. But ammo is quite... Not rare, because enemies drop ammo all the time. But you can only hold two shots for it at a time, I believe. Never mind. Let's go. Yoink. Yoink. Two of those. Oh, hello. Good job, Jawsy. Good job. Land Jaws. Ah, he's just having a fucking whale of a time. What a strange, topsy-turvy world we're living in right now. I wonder if the mighty Moonworm is here somewhere. Uh, I don't think we're going to send them an apology note at all. Oh, look at that. Looks like when we throw an explosive, uh, our teammates throw an explosive as well, which is interesting. I've never noticed that before. I did wonder where those bundles of TNT were coming from. Right, let's open the gates. Boom! Five more to go? Oh, right. The Colossus. Yes, yes, yes. I thought you meant five more gates to go. I was like, what have you been smoking, Rome? Oh, yes, you've been smoking the enemy. Granted. Gotcha. All right, boys. Let's do this. Wake up, you lazy bastards. There we go. No more tea for you guys. Actually, I don't know if these guys drink tea. They don't quite seem as civilized as us. Ah, there's a colossal scaffold. Oh, right, yeah, we... Oh, shit. Hey, hey, that barracks is destroyed. Should not be able to uh, spawn from there. Have a shark. There we go. Not sure what manner of technology you would use to stuff a shark into a tube and then unleash it on the land, but hey. If it works, it works. My fingers are frozen. Well, it won't be in a minute if you stand close enough to this thing. Look at these monstrosities. Boom. Only need four more, huh? All right, well, we can handle that. I think, maybe. Let's keep the shark launcher ready. Aha! Boom! Oh, God. That's not fantastic. Ouch! Ouch! Yep. Yep, that really hurts. That really hurts. I don't know if the sharks... can actually... get the guys that are in the turrets. It doesn't look like it. Right, I think he's done. Oh, no! Maybe they can. Ha! Huh. I never knew that. That's great. You can see how those turrets really strip your health away. And in fact, if you get a direct hit on you from those turrets, it is straight up game over. You're fucked. Checkpoints are fairly generous in this game, though, so it's never really an issue if you die. Right. Cool. Let's keep working these guys over. <laughs> well, we've got a nice spiffy jacket there. So I don't think we're going to be too cold. And we can always use the uh, the rage inside to keep us warm. There's always that. There we go. You do have to be careful when these things explode, because there's always one. <laughs> Fucking hell, look at that bastard go. Yeah, there's always one that crawls out with shell shock. Easy enough to lay them to waste, though. Look at these. These are cool. These are really cool, like, weapons platforms. Right. Not quite a mad cat or an atlas, but it's up there. We've got the shark weapon again. Nice. Yeah, we've got this, boys. We've got this. There goes the topsy-turvy explosive by accident. Ooh. That's quite efficient, actually. Doing it like that. Have the shark right outside the uh, barracks. Oh, go on then. We'll use this. You can see that we didn't really use the sniper rifle that much. It's very redundant, apart from in a, a couple of missions. But when it comes in handy, it comes in very handy. We will see it in use a little bit later on. 
But listen to that bagpipe music. It, I love it. It's great. It's so fitting. Hey, and we can actually use a mounted gun here with a little bit of... Well, okay, maybe not. I'm going to say we can actually use it and enjoy it, but no. I don't think you can destroy the pub, which is quite convenient, really. Because that would be quite awful. Yes, we are bastards. We may be bastards, but we have your soul. Alright. The grunt and pole wart. Boom! Yep. One more. But let's head into the pub first. My ma always told me you can't save a people without hope and plenty of ammunition. We've got both here. I think your mum was right, mate. Okay, so let's grab this. This is the Gurner personal mortar. And it's, yeah, basically a grenade launcher. It's useful. And pretty much from this point on, I don't think we will ever use the rifle again. This thing is juicy. But it, uh, we're going to keep it in our pocket for this. Yes, yes. This thing is a bit of a rough customer, I'm afraid. Ooh! <laughs> he's, he's gone. He's in next week. Yep. Of course, one of the Colossi had to be alive. Alive and kicking, apparently. Yep, this thing hurts. This thing really hurts. Unfortunately, this mortar gun doesn't do a huge amount against it. And you sure as hell can't hold enough ammo to bring it down in one go either. But luckily we can resort to explosives. Come on. Oof. I th think... Yes, there we go. I was going to say it. Getting a little bit uh, sketchy there for a minute. Jesus. Yeah, you're right, Rome. There you go. Nice bottle of something for you. I don't say I don't look after my men. Okay. Nuke them. Ooh, that was a nice little throw, actually. I do like these grenades. You know, I never understood the grenades in the first Mass Effect. They were those little discs that you just threw ahead of you. They just moved infinitely ahead of you. They were very bizarre. Hmm. You know, Mass Effect is a, a series that I've never really completed. I completed the first two games. Um, and I never completed the third. Blow two gates with... Yeah, 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 yeah. Use ticker bombs on the wall to get out of town. So now we've... We arrived. We had a look around. We fucked shit up. Now it's time to get out of here. I did like the Mass Effect universe, though. I really did, and I loved, absolutely loved the music in Mass Effect. It was superb. I'd like to see them redo Mass Effect, bring it out for, bring it out in a HD triple pack or something. That could be fun. Ready. All right, stand back, men. We are done here. Mission accomplished. Didn't even explode. Mission accomplished. Now get to Fior. Oh, get the Fiork out of here. Yeah, we're on it. See how janky it is. There wasn't even, like, an explosion at the end. It's, it's, mm, it's, it's so half-baked. It feels so half-baked. But, uh, hey, it's still fun. So our bounty is ever-increasing. It's just basically a glorified score. Which is quite strange that they were still using a score mechanic in a game. Uh, this late into the Xbox's life. Uh, we don't really see score attack games anymore. Outside of the arcade genre, anyway. Anyway, let's continue. <coughs> it's them! You! Show me your papers! What? Papers! Now you listen to me. That's it! Prepare them for a full cabbage! <laughs> our teeth are fine. <laughs> now stand aside. Show me your papers! Now! You don't need to see our papers. We you don't, don't need, need to, to see, see your, papers. your papers. Good. Uh, you're, um... We, we um... Um... Uh, uh, quick! What should I say to them? I'm running out of power! Quick! What, what should he say to us? He's running, running out, out of power. power. Tell them... Tell them they're both teapots. No Scottish miners! <laughs> Just tell them we're not the ones they're looking for. Wait, wait! I can handle this. Um... Uh... You're both French. We surrender! <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> oh, <face>. yes. <laughs> Love it. The Lady of the Pond, eh? Oof. Yep. This is one of the mission types that we do get. You have to defend the village. Defend the Fjorkin village. The king's men are here, blocking the way to the mountain. Survive as long as you can. Wipe out as many troops as you can. If uh, You lose if a hundred grunts enter the village. Operating the turret. Move left and right on the turret tracks. Primary fire for cannons. Secondary fire for mortar. Press start. This is pretty cool, actually. Look at these guys. These guys rolling up here. This is going to be an absolute slaughter. So we've got the mortar, which is that, which does a good amount of damage, to be honest. And it's fairly accurate. I like the way these guys aren't actually moving their legs or anything, which you can really see in the high-definition graphics, which, of course, we didn't have back in the day. All right, let's light these guys up. You shall not pass! Ooh, it's a bit of a slaughter. I don't know if the guns will actually reach that far out into the enemy ranks. Doesn't look like it. More sure as hell does, though. Alright, guys. Come at us. We are the good guys, after all. Kind of. Ish. So, it makes sense to defend the, the village from certain slaughter. That plane coming in doesn't actually hurt us. It just drops us stuff, I think. Memory serves. I don't think this gun would actually be that painful, to be honest, Roman. I think this thing would just shred you so quick, you wouldn't know what the hell was happening. Oh, that drops a token. Okay, I thought it dropped... Well, I was going to say, I thought it dropped other stuff, but what else would it drop? There's nothing really to pick up or have any value. All right, well, that's fine. Maybe we should stream this on a harder difficulty at some point. That could be fun. There we go. Nice, efficient use of ammunition. Hey, I wonder where they get all these bullets from. Probably the pub. That pub does seem to deal in bullets. Now, these guys will eventually get to your gate if you let them. And uh, that's bad. But you do have a little bit of a buffer before they get here. Is that a yep, I think a spleen just went flying past the window. Probably. Oh god, these guys are getting close now. Look at that little bastard. you got to get these guys that have the... Definitely got to get these guys that have the um, ladders first. See them scaling? Oh, you ain't getting up there, boy. You are not passing on my watch. Oof, that was close. That was really close. Okay. The bullets kind of, like, lock on. Almost. It's like a basic auto-aim. Now, the only problem with the main machine gun is it's really inaccurate at long, on long range. But yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. It never overheats. It never has to cool down. It's a fine weapon. If we could make some kind of bipedal walking tank with this on the top, we would be invincible. Wait, one has actually got in. Sneaky bastard. Little sneaky git. Look at that one lone guy running in with a... Oh, no, here he comes. Yeah, he's running in with a ladder. Look at this guy. This guy's got some serious balls. For the king! <laughs> oh look they're retreating now they're running away well done actually you can cut them down when they're running away which is quite funny nice okay not bad not bad now, there's 21 levels of this game as you can imagine with 21 tokens those village defense bits are quite fun Captain Vindaloo, what word of Rexus? Our torture chambers are filled. We'll soon have the information. Jesus. I never tire of that sound. <laughs> Has the peasant spoken yet? Not yet, sire. What torture have you performed on him? Well, all right. 
We started off by removing that guy's tongue, right? But he still hasn't said a word. <laughs> and what's going on with the other one? Okay, so that guy, we took off his head, and we replaced it with this large cauliflower that Bruno had, but he hasn't spoken either. Couple more hours, you probably know it. He's mean. And how was Wester able to escape in the first place? The Lionheart. They're protecting him, sire. I want this problem taken care of immediately, or it'll be the torture chamber. The Lionheart shouldn't pose any threat to you. Yes, sir. Now leave me. I must speak with Prince Stig. Prince Stig. Hmm. Stig, my son. Once again, it's time to tell you of the Great Book of Rule. Ooh. It is now in our possession. And once the Wildwood monks have unlocked it, we'll use its power for supreme rule of the land. Why, we could even use it to increase your intelligence if you'd like. Would you like that? Stig? Yes, yes, I knew you would. You will be a great leader one day, my son. Are these your pills? You're only supposed to take one a day, not the entire bottle. Anyway, <laughs> yes, yes, indeed, you'll be a great leader. For it was so ordained 25 oh. years ago when the Knights of Lodor, upon arriving at the great Oracle of Jorfi, saw the great Kingdom of Spirit one early morning, announcing your coming. We are on the threshold of a new era, my son. Do you have anything to say? Well? Stig have new trick! Oh, what would that be? <laughs> we'll continue this conversation later. Sire! We have tracked Rexus to the Midden Mountains. He won't get away now. Well. <laughs> Hail to the Rexus, king. Rexus, move it. What's wrong? Nothing. Shh. I just... Uh, my thighs! Stinky, son. <laughs> Hi there. We're looking for a way through this mountain pass. What's wrong? I was the keeper of Midden's sacred lamb. But the forge troops took him! <laughs> oh! You don't happen to know a way around this landslide, do you? Oh, please! Save him! Bring back my sacred lamb of Midden! And return hope to our land! Sorry, laddie. It's not on our agenda. I'll get you through to the other side, I promise! <laughs> Just bring back the sacred lamb! And remove this pall of depression we have all lived with for so long. <laughs> Wait, Doc. Sacred Lamb of Midden. Oh, you fucking slutty. Oh, Jesus. Well, it looks like we're back helping the peasants. Um, sacred Lamb, you say. There's some very strange substances in the water, I think. Mm. Anyway, let's go find this, this lamb. Well, we've got some sheep here, but I don't think that's quite who we're looking for. I'm sorry to admit it, chappies, but I'm scared of... Hey, you'll be fine, Q. You'll be fine. Yes, yeah, so it builds character. Lots of mines, around here. mines, you say? Are we talking the explosive variety or the gold variety? Right, so we do have a sniper rifle, which is going to be fairly instrumental here. All right, let's go to work. So, this king character um, seems to want this book of rule apparently has a lot of power in the said book interesting and has Shrek as his son yeah um, yeah that that's the thing come on there we go really there we go beautiful oh look at that guy sleeping oh he's sleeping forever now oh shit yeah, I forgot about this thing. Look at the, there's like literally no detail on it whatsoever. It's so weird to see these graphics. I actually really like these visuals in a way. It's a whole fucking battalion of any men here. All right, let's murder all these guys. Oh, I didn't even realize we were nearly dead. Getting slaughtered from that airship above us. Now, where does the, I think it's going to start at the beginning of the level. Mm, it is. Alright, one second, guys. Alright, managed to get us out of that one. That was a little bit tricky, actually. Little bastards dropping bombs on us. Yep, that is one problem that you do get with this game. They get very liberal with the explosives, which really freaking hurt. 
Okay, anyway, let's get in from there. Let's see if we can use some sniper action. I don't think you can, though. Yeah, unfortunately not. And I don't think... <laughs> yeah, our explosives aren't going to reach out and uh, do us any use there either. So, let's go see what the pub has in store for us. Hopefully something with a little bit more boom. Let's have a look. So the farmer's wife Ooh. says to him, she says, It's Roman, our hero. Aw, I want to know what the farmer's wife said. Boom. Ooh, we got the boxing glove thing. I actually can't remember what that does, to be honest. Um, right, let's get the mortar launcher, because this thing is going to be a little bit invaluable, I think. All right. Now, there was that airship thing. There it is. You can destroy them, and it's kind of beneficial to destroy them, to be honest, because they're kind of annoying when they're raining death down on you. Um, I think that will hit from there. Just. Okay, let's light this thing up if we can. I think it takes quite a few good hits, though. Unfortunately. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. So it takes exactly the amount of ammunition you have. Oh. Another little copter type thing. Oh, we got it. We got it. Right, let's go back to the pub. See if we can get some health back. Because we definitely need the mortar as well. Because that mortar, man, I'm telling you. Down with, the down with the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the king. We don't know who the king is. Well, we do. King Vindaloo or something. But we don't know why he's such a bad egg. I think that's fair to say. Cool. So that's topped up everybody's health. And we have our mortar. But what do we have up here? Oh, also... We're out of the range of the guns, which is nice. And, on top of that, everything, the uh, airships don't respawn. There is enough here up here. Ah, oh, the Swiss model, eh? Well, don't worry. We'll have you accustomed to it before too long. Right, let's get this place nuked. Because that is going to be a literal pain in our ass. Otherwise... Cool, you're gone. Anyone else? Any more for any more? There's always more. Oh, jeez. Can we be a little bit sly with this guy? Come on. Can't. Oh, God, hello. Guys, we have a little problem. Just a little one. Nothing a uh, heavy machine gun can't sort out, mind. Oh, you little fuck. Honestly, where do you guys get the nerve? Ah, look at that. There's you. Let's destroy that as quick as we can. Get the frick out of here. <laughs> he had like TNT on his head. Bless him. Okay, let's grab up the stuff. Oh, man. Hear that airship coming down. That's actually pretty savage. I'd like to know how many enemies we've cooked on that thing. All right. Let's go to work. I know it's probably not the best idea to destroy their village, but you never know where enemies may be hiding. And we've got some sniper fire coming in. Where are you hiding? Hmm. I'm sure they'll become more apparent as we move in. Look at these snipers. This is where the rifle is useful against enemy snipers. But there's not a huge amount of... Uh, Levels, from what I can remember, where you have to deal with snipers. Yeah, look at that little turd all the way in the distance there. I mean, how do you even get up there? Ooh, look at that. That is nice. I'm a fan of this sniper rifle. I really am. I approve. It's, it's like any tool. There are snipers crawling all over this place. <coughs> yeah, there is. It's like any tool. It's useless until you need it. And when you need it, you need it. 
caught that one in the bollock. Oh, hello. Oh, right up your ass, son. And you. He's like bending over for me. Oof, better not think about that too much. Ah. Hello. Can we? Can robots get altitude sickness? No. See, you could. These guns are like never really in any position where they're useful. Not really. I guess that's fairly useful there, but. Don't get used to relying on these guns. You always have that instinct in gaming where you see a mountain gun and you're like, Ooh, I want it. Let's have some fun. But that does not apply with this game. Oh, hey, friend. Well, you should have thought about that before you joined the king's army. Right, okay. I'm sure the benefits were good. Sounded like a good idea at the time, I guess. Go serve the king. Excellent benefits. Great pay. There's a sniper somewhere. Yeah, I can see the sniper. Gives you a guaranteed seclusion from the torture room. Take out all eight sniper captains. Ha. Huh. Well, we did that. Just got these guys left. Right, let's nuke the... Can we... Oof, almost off the edge. Oh, I don't know. Will that do it? Nah, uh, not quite. That should do it. Yes, there we go. Nice. I hope we took out the teapot too. Now, an interesting thing with Q, uh, if you're actually low on health and you have him, he will actually give you a cup of tea. He's a nice fellow like that. He'll give you a cup of tea and that will actually act as a health kit for you, which I think is quite cool because he's always banging on about cups of tea. Because, you know, he's English. He must drink tea. I'm English, too. I don't really drink tea. I haven't had a cup of tea in years. I like my coffee. All right. Very efficient use of the bullet there. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There's only one thing... L what, what are you on about, buddy? <laughs> well, they will forget it, I'm afraid, because they're dead. Hard to remember a lesson when you're dead. At least I assume. I've never been dead. I don't think I've been dead. Sometimes I wonder. Okay, cool. Oof. Just wasted that sheep. Um, oh, hey, fellas. Where are you guys coming from? There's no spawn rooms for you. Unless they were leftovers from down there. Now, we should be able to get behind the guns. Which means we can have our way with them. Yes. Lovely. Right, reload. Boop. Boop. Kind of didn't want to shoot them in the head, if I'm being honest. Sniping bastards, so I'd rather give them a long, drawn-out, painful demise, but hey. I guess we can't all have what we want now, can we? But we can actually commandeer these guns, because of course we can. And we can shoot these rocks down, these boulders. And create avalanches. I don't know why. It doesn't seem to have any great purpose. But it is a cool little thing that you can do. It does lead me to think maybe at some point there would have been a reason for it. Can we actually reach out and... Yeah, we can. That was a good shot as well. If I say so myself. Okay. Let's go find our cheap friend. Oh. Oh, buddy, you uh, you look like you're in quite the predicament. Great job in shaving the sacred lamb. Now you've just got to get those explosives all over... Oh, now you've just got those explosives all over him to worry about. Yes. Yes, we do. And there were some accidents. We do have to pay. I guess we have to pay to replace the livestock we've uh, taken out. Which... I suppose. I mean, we are the good guys, I guess. Can't have all these civilians out of pocket just because we, you know, saved their lives. Oh. Oh, perfect. Oh. Jonesy, defuse the bomb. Uh, easy, fella. We'll have you out of there in no. <laughs> <laughs> Touch, Jones. 
Gentlemen, we have a dilemma. Wait, I've got an idea. Jonesy, grab that piece of fleece over there. And Q, there's another good bit. <laughs> no, okay. Right, now, Rexus. Yes? Say, bah. No, you don't. Quick, lads, grab him. Tango! <laughs> Let me rest. Yes, yes, nice and comfortable here, actually. Rome, you're a sick man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, is my little lambkins all right? Uh, well, he, he, he was slightly injured in the rescue, but I think he'll make it. Oh, oh, lambkin, it's me, Papa. Do you not recognize me? Oh, please, little one, let the sound of my voice calm your nerves, for you are home now. Oh, thank the Lord you are home. Jesus Christ. Well, what, what, what? Oh, uh, uh, bah, bah, he's alive, lambkins, <laughs> daddy, bah, bah, <laughs> right, that's enough, well, we fulfilled our part of the bargain, oh, yeah, yes, yes, of course, God, I love explosives, <laughs> well, that was fun, ready? What about Rexus? Oh, uh, we shall be hearing from him any moment now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Rexus. Well, hmm. I think these civilians are a little bit warped. Sometimes I, I'm wondering if they're actually worth saving at all. Living their blissfully ignorant lives. Anyway, guys, that's going to have to do it for now. I'm going to leave it right there. When we come back, I guess we're going to clear the road. Hmm. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.